Hello everyone, welcome back to Salar Khan YouTube channel. So today a smaller video, uh, uh, just a theoretical sort of video, the electricity, electricity consumer categories, electricity consumer categories. So let me give the heading of electricity. Now one thing I believe that my writing has been a little rough. So I'm sorry for that. Actually, I want to go in a little speed. Categories. I hope the spellings are right. If not, this is not an English class or a competitive examination paper. Yes. Anyway, so what is a consumer? A consumer is the end user of electricity. Consumer is what? It is the end user of anything. Over here, we're talking about electricity. So over here, we will talk about the end user of electricity so consumer is basically the end user right yes sir okay so a consumer refers to the end user so you will utilize electricity you will have to pay for that you have to pay for that for, for, for whatever you are the end user and you pay on the basis of a certain set of rules and those set of rules are known as tariff which we will study in a great detail in the upcoming videos right now consumers are categorized on the basis of what on the basis of the type of load that they are using right the quantity of load and the type of load they are using yes yes so they are basically categorized on the basis of what the type of load so in this video i'll try to keep the writing a little neat so the first one let's say is the residential consumer residential what the residential is the most basic consumer of all right over here what do you have the overall load is low overall load is low it would be about what about 10 to 15 kilowatts maybe 10 to 15 kilowatts and in the previous video i told you to to find the collected load of your house that would be your residential load right what would they be using what would they be using they would be using general appliances they are using what general appliances and what are those general appliances so that are lights fans maybe a pc television a uh, water pump the basic necessities you know etc etc whatever is being used in your house yes yes the load factor is low the load factor is low fld is low why because most of the load is off you can see right what was the definition of load factor it was the average load to the maximum demand fld is the average load to the maximum demand this is quite low for the residential consumer the book has written about 10 to 12 percent i say this would be this would be around 20 to 30 percent this will be around 20 to 30 percent let me just say 20 to 30 percent right yes i don't think uh, i don't have anything over here kitchen appliances most of these loads operate at what unity power factor these are unity power factor loads power factor we will see in a great detail right yes so next the next category is the industrial loads uh, now first let me say commercial loads commercial loads and for commercial what do we have is overall load is about the same as residential maybe a little high load is about the same as residential but the load factor would be high in this case relatively the load factor would be high in this case relatively what does this include so the organizations operating on commercial basis shopping malls plazas what else hotels restaurants marriage halls etc etc whatever comes into your minds marriage halls 
restaurants etc etc fine private hostels etc the loads used by most commercial consumers are about the same as a domestic consumer right yes the thing is that what makes the difference the difference is advertisement so overall the buildings are you could say the same the load is about the same what would make the difference the difference would be made by advertisement how do you know if this is a commercial building or a residential building so you will see a sign board outside this xyz clinic for instance xyz tuition center for instance right yes so that is what makes the difference between a commercial and a residential consumer sometimes sometimes they have different tariffs for the commercial consumers higher rates as compared to residential but they are not mostly applied you could say sometimes right so what do you have in these cases overall load is quite the same but the load factor is high because why why because he is using most of his appliances fld the load factor is relatively higher than what than this residential why because he's using most of his appliances he needs to load factor is high because using what because he is using most of his appliances this may be to attract more people you go to the shopping malls you go to the big stores the designer stores what do you do one shop has got 10 lights he's got two air conditioners and the other has got five lights and one air conditioner you prefer to go to the 10 lights and two air conditioners the bigger ones right yes so that is advertisement and load factor is high he is keeping most of his load on and that is a commercial consumer the next is the industrial consumer the third is the industrial consumer now in the industrial consumer what happens is you mostly have driving loads you have big machinery so you have driving loads you can say you have a big machinery involved yes yes what do you have more with demand for large raging machines so you have what working for but the thing is that they would be working for a specific time of the day they are working for a specific time of the day so which makes the load factor constant so the load factor is almost constant load factor is almost constant Yes, because they have got approximately the same load for the overall entire uh, period of time that they are using. And this load factor is about greater than 50%. Yes, yes. They are, uh, they are what? They are uh, charged on a two-part tariff. They are charged on a two-part tariff. The industrial consumers the one is on the maximum demand and the second is on the base of the energy units consumed so so these are the two part tariffs we'll see again this is just a general introductory video right the load uh, ranges from small uh, to medium to large industries so a small industry may have a load up to 25 kilowatts ranging to a medium may have up to 100 kilowatts and 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 a large one could have about 500 kilowatts as well mostly there is a separate feeder for them mostly they are fed through a separate feeder the industrial loads right yes sir these are heavy loads fine what do i have is motive power they include what factories workshops foundries etc large motors to drive heavy machinery now the government are often incentives often 
offer incentives to for what provide incentives to certain industries to encourage mass production of goods so if you have to uh, to to export a good uh, some goods so so you offer incentives to that uh, particular company a factory for instance you you offer them a reduced tariff a reduced rates of electricity so that you export it outside and you earn foreign exchange through it right and secondly one other possibility could be that if you are importing a good so you do what you you build up a, you set up an industry over here and you provide them incentives through any means so that uh, you are importing them so you do not have to import them and you make it in your own country and it, it, it will also create job opportunities in the country right industrial development as well as job opportunities are created yes the next would be metropolitan the next is metropolitan loads number four would be metro Metropolitan loads. Now, metropolitan consumers are what? They are basically the service providers. They are basically the service providers of the of the state. So, what are included in these organizations that provide service to the general public? Government offices, municipal corporations. Let me write a few. Government offices, municipal uh, operations, hospitals. Uh, whatever should I write more educational institutes defense etc educational institutes defense etc so these are included in the category of metropolitan tariff is about the same as residential all right load factor is again about constant because the same amount is being used load factor is about constant and this is again greater than 50 percent the usage of electricity is about the same for the working hours municipal operations are responsible for services such as water supply street lighting sanitation etc Electrical drives for large pumps, air conditioner plants are mentioned in residential consumer. In case of hospitals, general load is X-ray plants, oxygen plants, ECG equipment, and others, etc. Right? Yes. The final one over here is the rural consumers. Let's say number fifth. So you have the rural consumers right which are to your village side so what happens is most of the rural areas are uh, 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 are situated in the agriculture sector agricultural sector uh, especially for a country like pakistan in country like pakistan it is one of the important consumer why because 7 to 80 percent of the national product is agricultural so included in this category the general loads are what the general loads are the irrigation irrigation machinery tube wells farm electricity pasteurizer plants incubators pasteurizer i hope the spelling is right mills etc etc and, and 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 again some of them from the from the from this one as well right yes the same as residential load factor is again the same as residential tariff is not harsh special incentives are given the tariff is a little uh, uh, lower okay so the load factor is about the same as residential load factor is low is about the same as residential and in this case the tariff is again not harsh the tariff it may be a little the rate of electricity may be a little cheap to provide incentives to produce agriculture to boost your economy especially for a country like ours pakistan so tariff is not harsh and you know special incentives are given must be given Is that fine? It is. It is. So I believe that is it. I don't have any other point. So uh, and, and and I should check the book once also if we have something to see from here. 
domestic load the load is low occurs only for some hours of the time the commercial load occurs for more hours industrial loads depends upon the industry of course and then you have municipal load uh, pumping is carrying out during the off time period they are talking about the water pumping including in the metropolitan load so this helps to improve the uh, the, the load factor of the system anyways that is it that is it about it that is it about it uh, wait I have a point somewhere over here high load factor of the power station lesser will be the cost per unit generated load factor let me just write this point I believe I uh, I said it in the previous video or not so higher the load factor uh, load if load factor of the station is high this would imply the cost of electricity would be low why is this i'm talking about the the power station why is this because if the load factor is high means lesser maximum demand load factor is the average load to the maximum demand so if the load factor is high this means that the maximum demand would be lower and the and the station capacity is so selected that this might meet the maximum demand now the lower maximum demand mean what lower capacity of the plant which in turn reduces the cost of the plant so i believe i said it in the previous video but anyways if i have missed it so that is it about it so these are the the, the most important consumers residential consumer commercial industrial metropolitan rural and i finish this one over here in the next video i will see you very soon where we will see the load curve most probably till then take care goodbye